This product got announced along with the AI dome and the AI turret and the wait is now over. This is the AI LPR, which is a 4K 8 megapixel camera. It has a three time optical zoom and it has a 15 meter or 50 foot IR capture distance. This camera is designed for a license plate recognition. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a quick look. We can go now unbox this right here and this is the first look at the camera itself so the camera itself is quite large and it has some sensors on the front which we'll look at this moment it has the mounting capability on the back which you can then adjust it looks like it has a couple of screws on the side that you can tighten to make sure you get the right angle that you might need we have a nice little cover on the top just here to keep it shielded from the weather. We have the mounting plate for the back, so we can just use two screws to get this mounted to a wall, or, or you can use the Jubilee clip and the mount to get it connected around a pole. There is also a Torx head key in here that we would need to tighten the screws. And finally, we have this little thing right here, which is called a desiccant, which shows that it goes within the AI camera itself, which again, we will have a look at in just a moment. The last final bits on here, we have the grommets for the cable, depending on the thickness of cable you're using, and we have the weather sealant for the RJ45 clip itself. So when we get the setup outside, we're definitely gonna need to use this. Before we move this plastic shield, it says, please place the desiccant pack inside here so we can go and open this up. And there's a couple of screws that we need to do to get this set up in here. So there's this little black pack inside here, and this just goes straight in and fits in quite comfortably within there. Once you've popped the desiccant in, you can see there's an SD card slot right here, so you can populate that for your edge recording and have a backup of what you are recording at any one time. Once you've done that, we can replace the screws and pop these back on. For those that weren't sure what the Desica pack was, it's just in here to help absorb the moisture. Now, there's a couple of other features that I'm gonna mention on here. This is IP66 rated. It does also have a microphone built into it, which you can disable if you wish to do so. And the license plate reader is designed to capture reflective and non-reflective license plates. We'll peel off some of the stickers along here. We have the IR sensors on either side just here. And what looks like to be some more sensors further down here. And then once we've done that, we'll go and remove this and we'll see the lens. Let's go outside now and get this mounted and we can put it to the test in both day and night. We're now set up outside and I have two cameras mounted here. So we have the AI turret and we have the AI LPR, which we're gonna be testing. The main thing we are gonna be testing is the AI LPR, but let's have a little look at what it looks like against the AI turret at the same time. So we have it all mounted and screwed up. We have our waterproofing on our cable and everything is set and ready to go. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is get this adopted. So we open up Unify Protect. So you'll see my screen popping up just now. We open up Unify Protect and you'll see on the screen it's popped up saying new device found AI LPR. So we're gonna click add and it's really that easy to get it added to the system. You can use it from your mobile device, but we'll head over to the computer in a few moments and have a look at some of the other settings on there. You can see the blue circle has appeared nicely on here and we'll take these off. I know we took these off earlier in the video, but for mounting purposes, I kept them on just in case it got damaged. So we'll take this, this, and this off, and this right here. So that is now ready to go. And I've scrolled down to the bottom of the screen where you can see the AI LPR, and this is the camera and the first look of the image on there as well. So let's take a look at some of the settings on the computer of the camera and how we can play around with it to get it the most optimal. And then we're gonna drive the car out during the day and the night and see how well the license plates get picked up between the two. As we saw earlier, we have the back plate on here going onto the wall, and then we have the piece connecting all the way up. So there's only two things that you need to install for this camera. One thing I will highlight to you is the importance of getting this installed correctly. I'll leave a link to this article down in the description below, but this shows you how to get the camera installed properly from the maximum mounting height to the capture distance and what sort of horizontal and vertical angle you need to have depending on where it's mounted. And it shows you some good illustrations down here also as well. There is a quick note here for lower speed or stop traffic up to 15 meters distance and 30 degree angle may work. So if you are using a higher speed, you need to keep within what's mentioned just here. But for the slower or stop traffic, you may have a little bit more leeway. But as I mentioned, I'll leave a link down to this in the description below. You can see above me, we have the AI LPR and I have already adopted it and updated it. We can take a look at some of the settings that you have within inside it. We have the recording settings first and we have some of the standard options, the record, the recording mode. Do you want to create motion events? And the most importantly, 
actually, is it an AI event? What this does is you have the options like you normally would because the camera works just like normal cameras during the day as you would expect it. So it picks up animals, license plates, persons, vehicles. You also have the option to make it license plate reader dedicated. What that means is only the events where the license plates are detected will be recorded. It says on here, we recommend enabling optimized for reflective LPR, which we'll have a look at in just a second where that is. Same with the audio detections. We have everything that you have on all the other AI series cameras and everything else pretty much down here is the same. The recording resolution, the encoding, the video compression, and you can set up your zones if you wish to do so. Now, the recommended setting that it spoke about previously is this one right here, which is the LPR night vision. Now, if you click on this, it eliminates light reflections with special IR pass filters for clear LPR vision at night. It says here will significantly impair visibility other than license plates. And I'll show you exactly what that means in just a second. We have the status light, so you can see the blue light that pops up on there that goes round the camera if you wanna keep that on. The one other thing I'm gonna show you is the image tuning. If we jump down into these settings, if we have a look up here, detection highlights, so you can choose person, vehicle, license plate. So this is the little square box that pops up around whatever it picks up and the confidence level, and we have the adjustable focus. So if you are looking for license plates in a certain area, you can click this button and focus into a certain area. In terms of the settings, I wanna show you the LPR and what that means. So this is actually on at the moment at nighttime on my driveway. Um, and you probably think, wow, that's actually quite dark. This is what the LPR night vision does. So if I turn this off, and you can see how you would with any other camera, you can see out into the specific area. And if we turn that back on, this is where it says it significantly reduces what you're able to see. This is exactly what it means. So let's jump to the daytime now and have a little look at the image quality and what it looks like with a car driving in and out. So we'll start with the daytime camera and we'll go ahead and play this and you can see it's picked up the car already. But again, just like some of the other cameras I'm gonna show you right here, I'm just gonna pause the frame just as I hit the edge of the drive. And you can vaguely make out the license plate from there. But if I zoom in that little bit further, you can read the license plate relatively clearly. Now, this is a digital zoom at this point. This isn't the optical zoom. So you would expect it to be a little bit more clearer if we were to use the digital zoom to zoom into the end of the driveway. So I'm just going to play this back a little bit quicker and you can see the license plate is relatively clear. Now I'm standing at the edge of the drive right here and you can see again the confidence level 92%. It's picking me up. I'm walking towards the camera and you can see the license plate gets clearer and clearer as I come close to it. So I am talking to it at this point. So I'm just going to scroll back that few seconds and pause it right there. And then I'm going to unmute the sound so you can hear of me testing the audio. This is an audio test of the AI LPR standing about two meters away. This is an audio test of the AI LPR standing about five meters away. Let's move now to the nighttime where we can look at the license plate and see how well they get picked up in both settings. We start with the LPR night vision on. So this is me taking the car out and you'll see this in just a moment. You'll see it pop up just there and it looks a lot darker than it is. You can see the lights coming out and then there we go right there. You can see that license plate is very clear the way it's been picked up. And as we drive down, you can see that still picking it up. That's probably still about 15 meters away at this point, and it's still picked it up going all the way to the edge of the drive. Being right at the edge of the drive at this point, if I zoom in that little bit closer, you can see that license plate is still legible. And then this is me driving back in. So this is the headlights facing towards you. And again, it's still very readable. It picks up the license plate. So there's a very big difference between the way a general camera would pick it up and this license plate reader has picked up the license plate. Now I'm gonna go and turn off the LPR night vision and see what difference this makes to the actual image and how the license plate gets detected. Let's play this clip right here. So this is me reversing into the drive and you can see that the license plate is not very clear. This is the IR lights reflecting off the reflective license plate. And as the car turns away right there, you can see that you can read the license plate a little bit more clearer now. The LPR night vision is there for a specific reason, especially if you have those reflective license plates. Just so you can see what it's like as a human detection. So this is me walking from the end of my drive. It does get a little bit more clearer as I come a little bit closer, but this is just a license plate I'm holding in my hand. So it doesn't necessarily give the best test that we would want on here. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you is the whole reason I mounted the AI turret camera is to show you a side-by-side -side comparison to see what comes out a little bit more clearer. Now you can see the license plate on the AI LPR right here is relatively clear and very legible. Even if we zoom in a bit, it's very clear to read. 
And if we go to the AI turret, so this is one that I had recording earlier. This is a car in a similar sort of position. And if I zoom in here, you can see the license plate is not really that readable. Perhaps if it comes in a little bit more closer, even then it gets to about here before it's to a point where you can actually read it. So there is definitely a big advantage for getting the AI LPR. Here's a quick side by side that I've put together that you can see. Definitely if you're gonna be using this as a barrier or a gate for something to open, you definitely wanna invest in the AI LPR because this is gonna give you a more accurate license plate reading and knowing that the license plate is gonna be fully legible so you'll be able to open your gates or anything that you have triggered with your license plate. This is definitely not the smallest camera in the setup and it has a very specific use case. So if you're looking to do those automations where you're triggering your gate opening or your garage door opening with the license plate, this is going to be the one you want to need. I did show you an example against the AI turret just to show you the kind of differences that you would have in terms of reading. So you're definitely going to get a more of a success rate with this. In terms of the price, it comes in at $499 US. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this unit and what you think and how well it performed. Is this something you can see setting up where you are in your business, in your office, or even if you're triggering those automations at home? Let me know down in the comments. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.